Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Agri-Food Conversations brought to you by iSelect Fund, the Van Trump Report, the Yield Lab Institute, and Family Farms Group. My name is David Yoakum. I'm an associate on the iSelect Fund Ventures team, and I'm excited to welcome you to our discussion today. Agri-Food Conversations is all about driving innovation in agriculture. Each month, we highlight a specific theme, this month's theme being livestock technologies. On today's call, we're joined by Bethany Despande, CEO and founder of Soma Detect. Soma Detect is a precision dairy technology startup applying cutting edge deep learning and computer vision techniques to analyze milk samples. Its precision monitoring tool can identify the presence of key compounds in raw milk and even quantify the materials, providing data on health and quality within the dairy industry. Now, each of you knows companies are more likely to succeed with the right network of customers, talent, investors, and advisors. We've invited you to this because you are some of the smartest, most talented people in Soma Detect's market. You are potential customers for Soma Detect's products and services. You have built a company similar to Soma Detect, or you have unique expertise and understand the challenges and opportunities that Soma Detect may face. Now, before we get started, we have a quick poll question to get a better idea of who we have on the call today. Please take a few seconds to answer. And while that poll is running, a few process comments. We are not soliciting investment. This presentation is to provide information to help Soma Detect find customers mentors, and other strategic relationships that can help them grow their business. You can use the Q&A box to ask a question at any time, and we will answer as many questions as time allows at the end of the presentation. And finally, this webinar is being recorded and will be available for replay. So without further delay, I am pleased to introduce Bethany Dishbande, CEO and founder of Soma Detect. Bethany, please free take it away. Hi, David. Thank you so much for that introduction and for having me here today. I'm Bethany, CEO of Soma Detect, and I'm really excited to speak about what we've been building over the past several years, but particularly sort of through COVID and some of the updates on the company in particular. So as you might've noted, we're a company working in an ag tech company focused on dairy data and health which in, within the global dairy industry. So. For those of you less familiar with dairy, it is a half trillion dollar commodity. It's 10% of the world's protein. And we have about 12 million cows across uh, North America. It represents our most sustainable source actually of animal protein that we have. But dairy of course has a couple of challenges. And so um, with inefficiencies and, and different things, we have early cow death and waste. And so Somatotech's data and what we're able to provide farmers allows us to tackle two of the top five challenges. So these are reproductive issues, or sorry, two of the top challenges, reproductive issues and mastitis, providing a significant increase in profitability as well as a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions on a dairy operation. And we do this by having ongoing monitoring and delivering daily reports for risk of pregnancy loss, elevated somatic cell counts, and low fat production in milk on some of the most innovative and cutting edge farms in Canada and North America. It, the sensor system itself, it was built with the underlying philosophy of providing as much value as possible with no added chores to farmers. There's so much going on on a dairy operation already. And so these sensors fit into existing dairy equipment, very similar to a milk meter or a technology like that that exists on the market. It doesn't restrict milk flow. It's available in two sizes. It cleans automatically via the clean in place and acts without any reagents or chemicals. There's also no subsampling of the milk. So we actually flow all the milk directly through the sensor and have uh, near instantaneous results as a, as a result. There's no additional work, no checking by the milkers. And so it, it adds a lot without requiring those extra chores. And it's pretty incredible to see the amount of data that can be produced this way. So we know there's already a lot of data on any farm. There's sensors throughout the dairy industry as a whole. We've all seen these like ear tags, collars, sensors in the barn, all kinds of data coming from the milking system already. And and this really adds another form of data. So this is one of the few systems out there that's looking directly at the milk and actually closing the information loop of what happens at the individual cow level. 
And we do this with AI and deep learning. And so this is a patented optical sensor system combined with artificial intelligence. We um, milk cows and essentially flow milk directly through the sensor. We use a principle of light scattering and send images directly to the cloud where they're analyzed with a series of deep learning algorithms and then shown on a software um, or database. And this system actually allows us to show as much as 90 times more data than what they're used to receiving with existing methodologies. And so this can be used in a ton of different ways. I'll talk a little bit more about them, but for somatic cell counts, it's all about reducing high SEC cows and herd, reducing mastitis and getting a bonus. Farms actually receive a bonus for keeping low somatic cell counts. In the future, we're also testing out some selective dry cow therapy approaches. So right now we use something called blanket dry cow therapy where antibiotics are applied to every cow once they reach the end of a lactation. But what if we weren't applying this to every cow? What if we were picking out you know, maybe 25 or 50% of the herd that actually would benefit from the use of antibiotics, but not using it necessarily on every single animal. We, with fat, we identify low fat producers and really it's all about efficiency, making sure that every single stall is being used for optimum production. And for pregnancy, now through the milk, you can identify pregnant cows from 50 days carrying calf and beyond. So this is really about catching later stage abortions and then being able to re-inseminate animals as early as possible. And all this adds up, as you might have imagined, to major value creation within the dairy. And so farmers, you know, get information to drive decision making based on something they're doing already, which is milking. And it provides a return on investment of $22 per cow per month. If we look at competing technologies, happy to talk about this more, kind of the status quo of how this is done today. So pregnancy checks occur about four times per pregnancy and are, that work is typically performed by a vet. And so the cost is, you know, you have this high, high trained, highly skilled individual going through and doing um, examinations on cows to, you know, detect pregnancies and so forth. And there's a cost associated with that. Same thing for somatic cell counts and fat at the individual cow level. This tends to come at most on a monthly basis through what's called DHI uh, milk recording work. And it's between two and $3 per sample on average um, in the US. And with Soma Detect for either the same or a lower cost than these existing technologies, there you have access to so much more data from every cow at every milking. We're working with three key farms at the moment. I'm gonna talk about a couple of them. And so this is one where our sensors are being used to in particular identify later stage abortions and obviously have major impacts to the operation and efficiency on, on a dairy where they went from, you know, about 10% of uh, missed later stage abortions to drastically reducing that number. We also have a farm where it's being used, as I, as I spoke about, for identification, you know, basically identifying when antibiotics need to be used when they don't, and really helping to catch the sickest cows as early as possible and identify those that don't require uh, blanket dry cow therapy at the end of a lactation. One of the most exciting things that we've been able to do has to do with sustainability. So. Of course, sustainability in dairy comes up all the time. Everyone is asking for a more sustainable dairy industry. And I think it's really important that we step back and think about what does this mean at the farm level? What, the, what does this mean for a farmer? And, and for those raising cows, raising and milking cows, it really has to do with maximizing efficient decision-making. And so precision monitoring helps run a more sustainable operation by, by ensuring that we have the most sustainable farming by optimizing feed efficiency, reducing waste, ensuring that every, every milking stall is being used optimally. More sustainable farming by being able to identify and breed only the most efficient animals, only having the most efficient genetics continue on within the herd. And of course, ensuring longevity of the farm, ensuring that the management decisions that we make today 
support the long-term vision and goals of the operation while also addressing today's top challenges. And when we do this, Soma Detect helps increase milk production and ultimately reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 8% per year. And so that's my update. Really excited to share this with everyone here today. As I said, Soma Detect is the, you know, an agricultural technology company, and we're providing better data for farmers, better milk for consumers, and better lives for cows. Thank you. Awesome. Bethany, thank you so much for the great presentation and the really exciting and also important work that you guys are doing at uh, Soma Detect. For anybody in the audience today, if you'd like to ask a question, the best way to ask a question is to type it into the Q&A box, and I can answer um, those questions in the uh, in the order that they are received. I'll kick things off with a question just to get just to get the ball rolling. I think we'd love to to understand a little bit better for anybody here who might be maybe new to the dairy industry. Just you know, if you could segment the the market opportunity for us a little bit in terms of where most of these operations are, what sizes are the ones that, that you're typically looking for. And then obviously dairy is a massive international market. And there's unique, there's unique factors to what's done here in the US and unique factors that are done in other places like India, et cetera. And so would love to get sort of your take on sort of where Soma Detect solutions fit in with different types of operations and where those are. Yeah, thank you, David. Actually, and that gives me an opportunity to sneak in my ask, which is so in terms of the market, what we're looking for is farms between sort of the 800 to 1,000 cow all the way up to 5,000. We find the return on investment sort of most compelling at that size point. And many of those dairies are growing and actively trying to improve efficiency and so forth. And so that's not all U.S. dairies, but it's, it's a good number of them for sure. This market is a rapidly changing and consolidating market. The dairy industry has been under a lot of sort of pressure with low milk prices over the past several years. Yeah, not saying anything that anyone doesn't know. And so it's a, it's a tough world out there for folks running a dairy farm. And we're really looking for particularly those, you know, seeking to improve efficiency. Maybe they have an issue that uh, sort of a, a clear use case that they're trying to apply this to. So issues with somatic cell counter, a desire to really reduce bulk tank SCC as an example, wanting to really be able to ensure the improve reproductive rates as an example, and so forth. And we install now on parlor based systems, both regular parlors and rotary systems, which are about 50% of the milking systems, the, the, the bulk of the milking systems in the States. And so that's what we're looking for. If anyone knows any farms that might be interested in an innovative technology like this, please don't hesitate to send them our way. And certainly if we look internationally, it's really, I mean, you, you run into so many different types of milking equipment, different size farms. I mean, even in, I'm Canadian and in Canada, most farms are not more than a hundred cows or, or 80 to a hundred cows. Like we have a much smaller average herd size here than, than in the States. Same thing in Europe. But, you know, of course, there's, there's all kinds of different, yeah, there's different farm sizes in every geography and different applications and, and things that are compelling about having additional data. And I really think no matter where you are in the world today, that farms, you know, farm sizes are increasing, consolidation is taking place, and farms are being asked to be more efficient, more sustainable, et cetera. Uh, that's really helpful context, Bethany. Um, one, one question piggybacking off of that slightly is, you know, I select, we focused a lot on digitization of agriculture and, you know, if, if you were to think maybe six, five, six years ago, adoption of digital solutions might've been much lower, but it's certainly climbed significantly for as much flack as farmers get from not adopting technology, the, the penetration of digital um, technology in one way or another has gone up substantially. How how has that either reflected or not progressed in in dairy? And and what how does that reflect in terms of how you guys sell the solution? Is it something that is extremely foreign, or has that 
barrier maybe subsided a little bit in the last few years as, as, as more and more agricultural producers in general get more access to digital technologies? Yeah, that's, I mean, it is amazing how rapidly changing this industry is or this market is. It's amazing how even, you know, I, so I started this company in 2016, not actually not knowing much about agriculture, not knowing much about dairy at all, learning a ton of things. And yet I find that magnitude of learning that I had to do at the beginning, it never stops because of how fast the changes. Yeah. And so certainly we see, I mean, I think there's increased technology adoption. So many farms, you know, so many farms are being offered many different technology solutions for all kinds of different problems. And even, you know, we've seen an increase in investment, an increase in accelerator programs and support available for companies like Soma Detect as well, which is just absolutely awesome. I think that the timing of like being involved in, a, in an industry like this and in a technology company is really exciting. Certainly it makes it important then, you know, when you are talking to farms, they're not picking between like your tech and one other thing. They have a whole range of different technologies that are available to them that are on the market. And so it it's sort of finding the farms for whom this is truly going to make a difference, like that it actually solves a problem they have today, not a problem they might have one day and then provides the most immediate return on investment. All of those things become just, you know, it needs to be crystal clear. It needs to be razor sharp. And, and so that's what we've seen. We, we do definitely though see an openness to, uh, a much greater openness to adopting digital technologies. And even yeah. more, I think it's it's easier today to find those super techie, you know, the, the data loving, early adopter type farms because we we know who they are the industry knows who they right. are right mm right -hmm. that makes a lot of sense what one last thing i'm curious about i don't know if it's possible you for a flip back to that problem slide that you had you had highlighted earlier where it showed sort of like i think you had like mastitis and a number of other yeah so obviously these issues are like majorly challenging to farmers and, and i think one thing that we're starting to see a little bit of a shift in across agricultural and food products is a shift from production efficiency. Like, can we solve this problem that costs us money and do so solve it cheaper than it costs us? So it improves our profitability, which is important. We're also seeing a shift across the board from a quality perspective. And oftentimes just thinking about product quality or product, product nutrient density. How, how are farmers thinking about this from a perspective of not only can I reduce these challenges that are a pain to my operation, but how can I, how can I create a differentiated product by using this technology? How would, how would somebody use that in this case? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with our, so farms are under, they're motivated to produce the highest quality, like highest fat, highest protein product that we can. There's definite differentiation or kind of niche products in this market. Some of them are really large. Even if you think of a product like Fairlife, where they are selling this, it's like low sugar, high protein milk product. How do we get enough supply at that quality level out to processors? And so certainly we see, it, it hasn't started yet, but I, I certainly see it as a possibility for a technology like Soma Detect to be really pointing out you know, ac across the dairies, where is the highest quality milk and, and potentially even sharing best practices as an example. So right now, so much within a dairy herd is managed based on averages. And a lot of the data that, that a farm receives is really average data. So if you think of a bulk tank fat, they're paid on averages, they're paid on bulk tank fat content, bulk tank protein, and then bulk tank somatic cell counts. And, and when we think about an average, you always have as part of that, right? You have like whatever's in the middle, you have the bottom outliers and the top outliers. And I think the farms that are really able to differentiate their product are those that are going to be eliminating the bottom outliers. And in order to do that, you, you just, you have to be able to go to the pen level and to the individual cow level and pick and be really crystal clear on who are those, those low quality producers or 
you know, the problem cows in my herd, can I, can I get rid of them? And who are the top performers in my herd? And can I make sure I'm breeding those ones each and every time? And I think that when we do that, we will be able to nudge that average up and up and up and up. And I think that's how farms stay competitive, stay profitable. And, and for those offering niche products are really able to tell a story of differentiation. Yeah. Well, let's, let's leave it there. I think that's a really, really helpful way to sort of frame, frame the picture of some of the possibilities for the technology you guys are building. Bethany, I know you kind of already made your ask, but is there anything else you'd like to leave the audience with today? Is there anything else you guys are looking for? No, I think so. Introductions to farm is number one. Absolutely. Um, we'd love to be able to kind of share our story as broadly as possible and, and be finding those next farms that we install. And we have a, we have a limited number of sensors as a hardware company. And so finding absolutely the farms where this is going to have impact is our, our best way, you know, to grow through 2022. So thank Great. you enormously for having me today. Yeah. Thanks everyone for your questions and and yeah, any, any support, of course, no one builds a company alone. So it's so appreciated. It is very, very true. Well, Bethany, thank you so much for joining us today. And congrats again on all the progress to date. I also want to thank the audience for your active participation. We host agri-food conversations every Thursday at 3 p.m. Central Time. If you'd like to share this with a friend, we welcome you to do so. The replay will be emailed to you in the next 24 hours and new viewers can register for agri-food conversations by going to agrifoodconversations.com. And if you'd like to know more about this topic, join us next week when we're joined by BJ Brigman, CEO of Distinct, a company leveraging connected devices and data to bring reliable connectivity to rural livestock facilities. Bethany, thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you all next week.